Shaking hands, listening, understanding, feeling, then doing all we can. And frowns become smiles, tears of sadness, tears of joy. People's lives better, caring, connecting. For nearly 40 years, families have trusted the Richard Harris Law Firm with the toughest times in their lives. Nevada is a wonderful place. I'm proud to have grown up and raised my family here. I love the traditions, the way of life, the natural beauty of the rugged landscape, the spectacular lights, and the diverse, kind, hardworking folks. Brittany, how are you? Great, Mr. Harris. Can't wait to tell Mom I saw you. Isn't it something? Your grandma's lawyer back in the day, then my mom's, now mine. Three generations of your family, that's really something. And to have my family working alongside me is the greatest blessing. At our core, we're really just a family business with strong family values. We treat people with respect. We only do what's right. Our word is our bond, and we work very hard. And what a team of superstars we have, with lawyers focusing on all types of serious personal injury cases. Remembering how I started out as a personal injury lawyer by myself, and now, with Nevada's largest personal injury law firm, it seems like time has just flown by. But time can also stand still, especially during those awe-inspiring moments, like seeing the Las Vegas Strip at night. I first saw the lights of Las Vegas when I was just four years old, from our car on old US-91, during my family's vacation drive from Idaho to California. 11 years later, we moved to Las Vegas, where my dad and mom opened a card and gift shop. My parents always stressed the value of hard work, so I helped out at the family business, delivered newspapers, worked at a casino hotel on the Strip, and as a corporate security guard. Las Vegas sure was a lot smaller then. Nearly 50 years later, I can still see the Las Vegas of my youth. So for me, that moment in time forever stands still. And as I think back, working with thousands of families, I'm grateful for every minute. I'm Richard Harris. It's my honor to be a personal injury lawyer for the people. If you or a loved one need help, call us at 444-4444. The Richard Harris Law Firm, just in case. Chian, your host with Spirit in Nevada. This episode is brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm, helping families and injured victims throughout Nevada for over 40 years. Hope you enjoy the show. So we are here in Boulder City and we're going to be playing tourists for the day, which means we're going to find out all the cool spots to visit. But first, I want to take you to one of my favorite stores, Boulder City Co Store. And we're going to be meeting the owner, Tara, and she's going to tell me a little bit about what inspired her to make something so awesome. I love the t-shirts that they have there. Come on in. Come on. And they have coffee too next door. So if you need a little pick me up, you can shop and grab a coffee. So let's go on in. Hi. Hi, Samantha. Welcome Hi. to the store. Thank How are you? you? I'm doing great. I love it here. Every time I come to Boulder City, I have a good time. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, yesterday was Small Business Saturday, so we've had a pretty busy weekend here in our small town. Very cool. Yes. So, can you show me around? I would love to. Yay. Yay. 
Now I've seen these at Hoover Dam and I also saw one coming in. Can you tell me a little bit about the story behind them? Yes, this is an Art Deco piece from 1935. These were dedicated on the day that the dam was dedicated. They're 30 feet tall and they're on either side of the flag down at the dam. They're called Winged Figures of the Republic and they are guardian angels. They look the like guardian angels. Yes, there are four things that make them special. First of all, their wings are pointed up to signify the upward aspirations of America coming out of the depression at that time. And they're really buff like men that lift weights because that signifies all the 5,000 men that built the dam and how strong and superhuman they had to be to yes. endure those conditions. And then the male head has to do with the architects and engineers that came up with it. And my favorite part is that they're seated, they're sitting down to forever protect what Hoover Dam provides America. I which love is the that. the electricity and the yes. power. Yes, and I have some actual ones if you follow me over here. Uh, these are for sale in the store, and these are really nice keepsakes. I have pedestal ones, and then uh, these are fun. These are the ones that I have on, on the car that is in my store. These are. Oh, the, I want to hear about the car oh, when we're done car, showcasing yeah. these. These are yes. the ornaments. You know, I also have this on my nitro cold brew tap. I turn it into a tap. You're, yeah, you're so creative. So, yeah, but these are <laughs> really, really are. fun pieces to take out of the store with you, but... This guy lives in Kingman. He's a local artist, like on the other side of the dam. But um, we I so you support local artists yes. in this store, which is so important yes. to Boulder City. Lo local, yeah, local as you know, as close as I can get. But I think he's so talented. But Very yeah, nice. let's go over here and look at here at the car. What's really unique is you have a car in your store. Isn't it great? <laughs> yes, the guys it is. love it. So we pushed this 1928 DeSoto in before the windows and doors were installed. So it sits here forever now. And this is the type of car that rolled through Boulder in the early 30s when the town was first started. So this plays a role in the historic aspect of Boulder and really yes, draws people into the authenticity of what I'm trying to pull over here with uh, bringing people back in time. No, you really are doing that with the car from the 1930s because Boulder City was built in 1931 for the dam and a yes. lot of your apparel has pictures of the dam, which is really neat. Yes, the apparel has pictures that I took from the museum's newspaper articles. No way! Yes, it's That's all cool. really true to the history of Boulder City, even down to the font and the images. So, so what, I know this is going to be a really difficult question, but I have to ask, what is your favorite piece in the store? Oh. Like, what do you love the most? Oh, I, well... The car. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can't see my smile right now, but I'm choosing I know, my really eyes are big. Smiling. And also the cash wrap. I love what we call in retail where the cash counter where we check people out. This is an authentic Boulder City piece. Uh, we have moved it across the street, but this was the cash counter for the first jewelry store in Boulder City. How cool which is that? Was, uh, used to be at Milo's across the street at Milo's Wine Bar. Uh, that was a former jewelry store and it has since now uh, found a home here. So I love that you have a store here and mm -hmm. then you have a coffee shop connected. Tell me a little bit about how that came to be. Well, I've lived here my whole life, and who better to know what the town needs than someone that's lived here? So I knew that this downtown area, even though we have the Coffee Cup Cafe across the street, the locals know that they're known for their food, not their coffee. Right? And you're known for your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, they're my good friends. And we had a talk before this all happened. Yeah. And they didn't want to have an espresso machine over there. So, we've made an arrangement. No, <laughs> you know? that's nice. And yeah. so, I make the espresso. Yeah. And they make the food. It's neat. I yeah. think it's all about supporting local businesses, especially when you're here in Boulder City, because you all know each other. If you grew up here, chances are you know your neighbor. And so yes. that's neat to see you working with other businesses as well. Mm -hmm. so. And I also had a niche for the Boulder City logoed merchandise because no one has done that 
downtown either. No, yeah. that's why we. That's one of the reasons why we came here because I said I gotta get a sweatshirt so I can represent yes. while I'm out and about looking mm -hmm. at all the cool things to do around. Yeah, yes, the city. and that's needed because Boulder City is now a destination. It's it's a what do you call it? You know, it's a weekend getaway. It's more than just a pass through for Hoover Dam. People like to come here for the weekend and come here for wine walks and come here for dining out and hiking and trailheads and ATVs. And, and that's what course, we're going to feature the on lake, the show. You know, yes, the everything. The lake's always been a constant here, outdoor activities. Uh, I had a guy in here for a softball tournament yesterday. Cool. So, adult softball tournaments. I mean, you never know. No, I, I love that Boulder City has something for every age. So if you're somebody who does like the outdoors, right, there's mm -hmm. the trails, there's, um, you can get an electric scooter, you can stop by and buy one of those and just yeah. bring the family out. And if you love shopping, there's antique shopping and then they have your, your cute little store yeah. with the coffee shop next door. And so mm -hmm. I, I always like to ask when I'm interviewing somebody and they have a business and it's their baby, I want to know what inspired you to open up a place that gives back to the community and features everything about it. Oh geez, what what started my journey was my second child. So I had a, my second child later in life and I wanted to embrace him. A son? Mm -hmm, yeah. My son. And I wanted to stay home with him. I am a career woman and I decided to raise him in my hometown. I'm very goal oriented and yeah. I can tell. I waited until he got into kindergarten and was in a routine, and then I started making this happen. You're a good mom. I'm a so. mom too, and being able to have a business mm -hmm. and also being a mom is very hard. It's hard to balance the two, mm -hmm. and so I love that you thought about him and him being able to come here and being close to the school and him being able to walk and not having to worry about you know transportation and everything being in close proximity. and. Yeah. And so, and you're able to share the history with him as well, which is yes, neat. and he's proud. Yeah, it, it's a proud moment for all of us. I think I hit the nail on the head, and and I used original colors of paint, and I just used the original features of the building, and everyone loves it because of the authenticity. Uh, I didn't have to try too hard, actually. So well, you've done <laughs> you've done a really wonderful job representing the community. And uh, I appreciate you and your time and sitting down with me and giving me a tour of the store. So Absolutely. we're gonna take a walk around after this and see what other fun things there are to do. Yes. So, all right, about to wrap here. Enjoy. Well, that was a lot of fun touring my favorite store with Tara and there is so much to do in Boulder City that throughout the video you'll probably see us going back and forth between some footage that we may have covered a few weeks or even months ago. Now if you're planning on coming to Boulder City there's a great place to stay which is right behind me the Boulder Dam Hotel and they also happen to have a cute little museum inside. All right so we're gonna wrap up here and we're gonna go meet Jill, who's the CEO of Boulder City Chamber of Commerce. All right, Jill, so where are we at? So, welcome to Boulder City. Thank and you. And right here, we're in Bootleg Canyon. This actually is, we are currently standing on the River Mountain Loop Trail. The River Mountain Loop Trail is a 37 mile trail that takes you through Boulder City, the city of Henderson, and the National Recreation Area, Lake Mead National Recreation Area. 
So this particular location is kind of um, central, a real great pivoting point for us to be able to see not only Bootleg Canyon, you're seeing a little bit of Wait, Cascada. Wait, I want to ask you really quick, Bootleg Canyon, why is it called Bootleg Canyon? I always so, wondered that. Bootleg Canyon. So if you remember, Boulder City was always a dry town and during the, the time that the, the dam was being built, the families that lived here in Boulder City themselves, there, there was a prohibition on alcohol. So they were not able to obtain alcohol here or even have it in the community. And so they would usually go to Railroad Pass, which is just on the other side of this mountain range here. And if Railroad Pass happened to, if they had the gate closed, so you weren't allowed to come or go from mm -hmm. Boulder, then yeah. uh, and a lot of times you would know that they were actually bootlegging up here in creating moonshine up here in Oh my mountains. goodness! So right. before it was a bike trail, this was a moonshine yes. place. Yes, oh, wow. Canyon, yes. And so currently you can still see the remnants of two different stills up there in that canyon. And uh, it's, it's just amazing that we have so much history that we can talk about that kind of history and point it out and um, honor it and learn more about it. But yet you're, you know, you're right here on this trail and there's so many new technological, um, uh, wonderful inventions that have come online that we can be a part of as well. Speaking of things that are online that, that you've advanced in technology and ways to get around in Boulder City, what can people do when they're here? Can they rent bikes? Is there scooters? Like like what is there to yes, offer for visitors? Yes, all of that. So there are all kinds of different opportunities. Outdoor recreation is abundant in Boulder City. You've heard, um, many times you've heard that we are the backyard of Las Vegas. Yes, Because there's I have. so much activity out here. And so not only can they come out and enjoy things that actually have a fee or a charge or some kind of a price, they can also come out and just enjoy the trail. So you can walk on the trail, pedal power on the trail, but also some of the others, we have over 230 miles of trails here in Boulder City. So not only are you gonna come off the River Mount Loop Trail, but you can stop here at the trailhead. You'll be able to get water. The drinking fountain will be here. There'll be a shade structure. There'll be a charging station, solar charging station. And it gives you the information of what you're gonna find when you take the loop through the business Neat. court into the downtown area. So you get a little bit of a history aspect That's along right. with the recreational piece of That's being outdoors. Right. You know, we're really hoping to see, families are such a huge focus of what we do here in Boulder City Family Fun. And so we, we know that we've got a lot of families that will ride their bikes from Henry here to Boulder City, they'll be able to not only stay on this trail, take it into the business core, but at one point in time, eventually when the, the train finally goes across the, the bridge that was built for, um, with I-11, as soon as they are able to go across that bridge and can connect into Henderson, they'll be able to ride to Boulder, have breakfast, and then That's hop on that train, cool. put their bike on a specially designed um, train car, and then ride the train back to Henderson. So That's really a neat. full day experience, all kinds of great opportunities, not only for tourists, but you know, this is a quality of life for you and I. You can come for the afternoon, for the day, or even spend a weekend, and you really feel relaxed when you leave. So that's kind of why our tagline of discover, explore, unwind really kind of fits exactly. I think it's great. I, I love Boulder City. It takes me away from like the city side of go, go, go. Yes. And then I'm able to not only go on the railway express, check out the train, go on a, a, a trail like this, which speaking of this, trail there's somebody that i need to meet from sever oh yes I okay think you want to meet this amazing family the curtis family they have the um one of the newest businesses here in town called sever and we're really excited to, to welcome them um i love the entrepreneurial spirit that is something uh that we really celebrate in boulder city and you know it's been kind of interesting with the times you've been seeing a lot more great ideas that have been developing and coming out of having a lot of time to sit and think um, and we've just really seen a, a huge boost um, to the, the business directory that we've um, recently been putting together. And this, this particular yeah. business just floats to the top because well, they're amazing and they've got e-technology. So anything electric. So well, speaking of electric, I think one of the kids are over there testing out one of the scooters. So I, wa I want to try job. it. Well, thank you so much for your time and coming out here. I know you're very busy, so we appreciate it. Oh, I am grateful to have you guys. We welcome you and we sure hope you come back soon. Thank you, absolutely. Thanks. All right, time to get on one of the scooters. <laughs>
Hold on, let me get your hat. Hold on, let me get your hat. So we got to try one of the uh, electric scooter, one of those rental ones, and um, after that we wanted to find one that we could buy for our own personal use, and we bought a couple of them. We just wanted to get the fastest one, one that we could fold down and carry in our, in our car, or if we went on the bus, or anything like that. And slowly we found one that we really liked, and it just my husband wanted one, and I wanted one, and then our friends wanted one, and it just became a lifestyle for us. Besides being outdoors constantly, we can do it as a family. My kids have one, and my baby who's only three, he rides with me most of the time, and then I have a bike one that he can he has his own seat. So it's very family oriented, and our, all of our friends are doing it with us. Became a family, friends, a community now, if, thing that we do. So our goal is, you come in here, you can try any of the things we own and anything that we sell, you can demo it before you make the purchase because it's, you know, $600 to $2,000 purchase you're about to make, you should like it before you buy it. So we, we like you to try everything and then you can pick which one you like the best. So Boulder City, there's so many trails you can go on. Um, even just going in, inside of the town, you can stop somewhere, you can, you can charge up, people are really friendly, let you charge up, um, and then there's trails going everywhere. Going to the lake, going to the parks, going up the desert, you think, whatever you think you can do, you can do it here. My son, my oldest, he, he's pretty shy, or at least he was, and then um, he got on the one wheel, he's never skateboarded, he's never done anything, and he's slowly practiced, and now he can ride the XR, the Pint, same thing with my daughter, she loves to ride the scooters, now she's learned how to ride the one wheel as well. My baby, he wishes he could have his own, but he has one that's not electric, and um, so he rides with me all the time, and we all, they, they love it. Like right now my son wants to go on a night ride, like the, the, every day they want to do something with the scooters or the one wheels or anything we have. Yeah, I heard him. He was like, yeah. I, he's not shy at all. He's not he's now, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I can make one ride with us? Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Thank you for having us out here. Oh, thank you. We enjoyed it. It's my first time on an electric scooter. So. It was good, but it was easy, yes, easy to pick up, right? Easy, and I think that's the most important part of your company is that you can cater to a lot of ages. And if you haven't done it, it's okay. Because yeah. you can come here, test it out, ride one of the trails, and check out Boulder City. Yeah, and we let people ride it out in the parking lot in the street, and it's pretty safe. And we have, you know, from three-year-olds to 70-year-olds, 80, 100. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Ben, we should did. Which you want? We're hoping it'd be a. Oh, look at that! Straight out of quarantine. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and then we are right there because we help sponsor it. And we just actually got in the new electric unicycles. What? Yeah. This is neat. How much does one of these things cost? Close to two thousand. And um, they range in price from 16 and above. But these ones are mad fast. They're probably the fastest we have. They'll go speeds 50 plus. Yeah, so you, That's def really you definitely have to gear up for this. Yeah, you have to have your helmet, safety first, especially yes. when riding something that goes 50 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah. And they go long range too. There's one that just came out that goes 100 before you have to recharge it. 100 miles before you recharge. Wow, yeah. you could go really far actually. Probably to even prim, maybe. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, with our scooters, we do the mountain loop. All right, well cool. Well, thank you again for having us. No, thank you, come back anytime. Yeah, we definitely will. All right, Purdy, do you want to get any more B-roll? Good. Okay. Did yeah, I did the GoPro. So there's our Paul's saying of what oh, here we about. Go. Take it. 
<laughs> I had a blast in Boulder City. Jill knows so much about these trails and I hope you all learn something new. And I just love to see local businesses like Sever catering to the outdoors. And the fun is gonna continue next week as we ride the rails with Rail Explorers. I'm Samantha Chian, but you can call me Sam with Spirit of Nevada. Brought to you by the Richard Harris Law Firm. Here's the thing about trust. It's the foundation for every strong relationship. Trust can be both a gift and a responsibility. It takes years to earn and a lot of hard work to keep. It's what everybody needs when they're reaching out for help and sometimes it's all you've got to give. I'm Richard Harris and I understand how important that is. After an accident, we are the people you can trust. The best parts about living here are the diverse, kind, hardworking folks, coworkers, soccer parents, even that stranger who smiles when they pass by the everyday people who sacrifice for their families and for all of us. Their stories make us proud of the work we do. You see, when one of us gets injured in an accident, well, I guess you could say it's personal. For 40 years, the Richard Harris Law Firm has been helping people through their darkest hours, the hardship of serious injuries and the heartbreak of losing a loved one. At our core, we're a family business with strong family values. You've made us Nevada's largest personal injury law firm for the people, and one of the largest in the West. And according to our clients and fellow professionals, the highest rated. And we will continue to deliver the exceptional results and service our clients have come to expect for 40 years. I'm Richard Harris of the Richard Harris Law Firm, just in case. Watch new episodes of Spirit of Nevada every Sunday on Your View Channel 14 at 10 a.m.